Hey, Fuji. Wait till you witness what a parade is. I don't understand. What is a parade? Ah, uh, you'll see. You'll see. So look, check this out. Tonight is the same group. Um, but this is a place called the Sugar Mill, and they're going for a very industrial look with the modern, you know, intelligent lights. So uh, this is cool. What do you think, Fuji? I think your exposure is off. All right, smarty pants. Look at this. See these big floats? 800 people are gonna get on these floats and we're going to do another parade outside. How cool is this, man? I've had a lot of second line parades. I've seen elephants. I've seen a lot of things. This is two, four, six, this is like almost eight to 10 real double-decker sized floats. So these people can enjoy their night. Hey, I just wanted to jump in real quick and explain what is happening in the video. When I do commercial events, um, commercial events are doing work for larger companies, other companies, other businesses, okay? That's the commercial field. Um, when they have, say, a four-day seminar they're coming in town for, they usually have lunch breaks and they have dinner breaks and they have excursions and they have dances, treats, parties, like, you know, that kind of stuff that you would do for your guest for your employees. Well, this company, um, this is their parade that they designed. So since they had 800 people there, they, uh, they got double-decker floats to accommodate them to go from the hotel all the way to their party in the evening. So that's what you're looking at right here. I just want to jump in here and, and let you know that because I'm sure I did not explain this well on the fly on Canal Street with the band in my ears. <laughs> all right, back to the video. This is how we do it in New Orleans, all right? This is my first time seeing the double-decker floats like this, man. Yeah, let's go. All right, what I was trying to tell you was, these big double-decker floats are only in the really big parades. You know what I mean? So this is special for them to ride in this, man. Hey, I wanted to jump back to the studio to close out this video and just explain to you how the entire video that you're looking at, those little video clips, obviously the still images, um, I am still, this Fuji X-T4 is still my main camera. And I absolutely love how all I gotta do is take that little switch, I'm doing video. Click, I'm doing stills. I love the usability on this camera. I cannot explain. I cannot tell you enough about the usability of this camera. And, you know, when you're shopping cameras, you're looking at features, megapixels. You know, the, the something. The one thing you don't think about is you working on a job. Um, you know, when you're shopping cameras, you know, you're trying to look at your next upgrade to your camera, but. You know, when I got this camera, it was never meant to be my main camera. Um, it became my main camera because everything is customizable. I can program my menus to make things easy for me on the job. But when I tell you the quality of the video and the stills are fantastic, and the fact that I'm a one-person hybrid photographer slash beast on the job in a comfortable, relaxed way, because it fits in my hand great and it works it just it it just straight up works so as much as i do uh, love what i'm seeing as far as the other camera name brands coming out with their new technology and it's all enticing but when it comes to usability man look all right you guys have a great fantastic weekend um i will see you in the next video peace
I just made a sound. I just made a sound effect. Why did I make a sound effect? Let's see, let's see.